Hey, what's going on guys? So today we have a bottom fishing video and the first day we went out for some ling cod. So we were using these, a diamond jig and swim baits for the lings. And the second day we went out for a canary. So we're using this three setup with a 30 foot leader. Um, that's what you have to use for this new rule for deep dropping. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all that we're using. You guys will see it in the video. And hopefully you guys go on and enjoy this one. Because I thought it was pretty great. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you did enjoy. And let's get right into it. Here we go. Oh, that's all you. Wow. You got two. Alright, get this. Oh. Jeez. Oh. Yeah, that, that might keep. Yeah, here we go. Flip in. Okay. All right, right do you want? Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah, baby. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, oh shit! Get him! Get him! Get him! Wow. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, light work. Yeah. Some over there. Here. I'll, I'll lift them in. Dude, oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Dude. You got that way up off the bottom. Off the bottom. Holy crap. Wow. Holy shit. Dude. Good work. Oh, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nah, he's, he's just looking. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't see any gap marks, so. Oh, yeah. 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 We gotta oh, check them. Oh shit, gas. Yeah. Oh, watch out, watch out. Yeah. Dang, bro. Yeah, let's check that. I don't know That's like a 10. Nah, I got it. There's one. Just one? Yeah. Here. Oh. 
There we go. All right, you're free. All right, hell yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's a lane. Yeah, yeah that's a good oh, one. Stop this out. Hey, hey, back, back up, back up. Yeah. Lane. Okay, back up, back up, back, back, back. back up. Yeah, there we go. That's a good one, dude. Holy crap. Yeah, 31. Oh. Hell yeah. I got him. Oh my god. What? <laughs> dude, dude, let's go. <laughs> I got a video. Let's go, man. One giant. Yep, three yeah. giant singles. Here, one sec, one sec. Jeez. I can't. No, nah, I got him. I got him. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, wow, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another two on the Wow. Yeah, dude. Hook it. Drop down. We're gonna start right behind the cheek. Cut in to the front of the head. And then down to the gut. Like so. And then follow this up. Turn on a dime right along the backbones. Kind of bounce it along the backbone all the way to my stopping point is generally right here where these two fins meet over and then you just kind of Right over that uh, backbone, out to the end, but I don't um, cut all the way through. I leave that skin there for uh, for skinning it. So then we just cut this stuff back. Just work it down. Good. All right, and then you go. Just keep peeling that back. No, I haven't peeling seen anybody back. fishing out there yet for salmon. They were fishing when they were fishing. And then you're gonna go uh, over these bones. Yeah. Uh, yeah, is that just cheese and bread? Yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, your mom's a homie. Down at the thing, and then put some peanut butter on that. It doesn't like, taste great. And then slide it right under this, right in between the skin and the meat, and just slide her right out. Mm -hmm. I 
need a sharpened knife. Why do you need to be better at cleaning? Here we go. This like beautiful. Start out yep. with a decent sized knife because these are decent sized fish, and this is a 12 inch. Uh, it's kind of like a bub bubble blade, but I uh, I decided to get this one for tunis for some reason, so I just got this one, and it seems to work for this too. So I go behind the cheek, pull the fin back, cut down into the stomach. Like so, and then follow that back to the backbone, and then you just follow that down the line, down, down, down to about this midway point between these two fins, and then you go over the backbone right out the other side and then you just kind of walk the backbone down and then you get that pull that back up and then you're going to be able to just kind of feel that meat back like, i'm not the best at playing um, so i just do the best i can Let dad go get drunk while I do all the work, basically. You have this rib cage. Um, several, a lot of people don't like to mess with the rib cage. Um, there's some meat on the other side that I like, so I do mess with it. And then you just kind of follow it down, cut it like so. Way, and then we spin it, just go right into the tail and just walk it right along the skin like so, just like that. And that's, that's a nice size play. Alright, I'm going to show you guys how we vacuum see our fish here. I just want the link out that we caught from earlier. So you're just gonna stick it right here, clamp it down on the machine, and then hit back and seal. It's gonna suck all air out and moisture. Sealing right now. And there you have it. Nice thin cod flay, all back. All right, this is our canary from earlier today, and I'm gonna show you guys how to cook it. So first we gotta chop it up into a bunch of small pieces so we can deep fry it. So I'm just gonna cut this bad boy up. Those canary were like really big from earlier, so we actually got good fillets off these. Usually rockfish, you don't get as much meat, but these things are pretty beefy. So then after that, you're going to take your rockfish, put in flour, and I season the flour with this Everglades here. So you roll in the flour, then you go into egg. This is just some eggs and a little bit of water all scrambled up. And then you're going to go into your breadcrumbs here, which these are this brand, and then roll them in here. And then we're gonna do the same thing to all of them. So I'll show you guys once we I do. All right, so we got all of our fish here all loaded up. So we're gonna put it in the deep fryer at 355 and come back and check. All right, the fish just got done. So take it out here. Be this nice brown color. Get all plated up. Perfect. All right, now let's go and finish off the rest and I'll show All right, you guys. That's going to wrap up the video. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.